to a random with an R. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Um, there are a couple of things that I want to ask. My name is Sheila Rendon. I live at 2314 Melancy Street in the fifth ward. My street is one block north of uh, Cass, where the old Port Iowa site is. So I'm in Area C. Um, the area that is looking to be developed at the beginning of the project is Area B, 13th and Cass, and Area A, which is 26th, I'm sorry, 22nd and Market Street. Those, both of those projects are downtown. North St. Louis is very much in need of development. I've lived on my street for 37 years. I've seen the decay and the demolitions. Within the past five years, they have grown at a rampant pace. We do need jobs in the community. And there are some things that I want to um, propose to the TIF Commission. Uh, we want a ban on eminent domain of any owner occupied, any resident, any business, any church that's either in areas B, C, or D. We want the uh, demolition to be carried out with preservation review. At this point, buildings are being demoed without review, without permission. In some cases, we have buildings that are being demolished by the brick. We want more preservation review. We ask that there's better relocation assistance placed in the SIP application. At this point, we have uh, $1,000 for homeowners and $3,000 for businesses. Since this TIF is going for 23 years, we ask for 23 year tax abatement for the people who are already there. We ask for a neighborhood maintenance fund set at 1% of the TIF funds for each area available as soon as the TIF money is available. Um, we ask for special protection for our elders and our people with disabilities. And we also ask for jobs. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Property in Old North St. Louis, 2912-14. Um, my opposition to this pro project is basically financial. I don't believe it has uh, a chance of success financially. The economic climate is very much against commercial development and is probably going to be for the next year to two years. Also, I don't believe this project is adequate for finance at this time. There have been financial commitments, uh, commitments to look at financing the project by Bank of Washington, Washington, Missouri. That bank is rated below average. If you look at their ratings up, bankrate.com, the street.com, the ratings are below average. Their assets are only $777 million. They cannot both finance even one, one segment of this development. They're unable. And a bank that is, has below average asset Asset uh, quality, as this bank does, will probably not be able to finance anything at all of this size, um, even a partial amount. I also have I printed off those ratings if anybody wants them, and that's really all I have to say. And I'm very much opposed to this plan. I believe it is in, not feasible, and I believe it uh, will be an economic disaster for the city of St. Louis if they go ahead. The next name that I have, I'm having a little trouble reading, but I believe it's Mr. Charles Roseling. Is that? I'm sorry. Is he here? Okay, he's coming forward. After him, we will have Ms. Anna Delegio and Mr. John Cross. Your name again, sir? Thank you. I've been in Marshall Law School for 47 years. I watched you. Please speak into the microphone. I've been in North St. Louis for over 47 years. I've watched the, the buildings being tore up. I've seen people being pushed out of their homes. And I'm worried about the people who are still left and what these 47 years like myself. I think this proposal stinks when we raise our taxes.
matches already after fighting all these years, I believe it's sad. We have to find another resource to get money other than bleeding us with more money. We got poor people, people are surviving, and, and that's what it's all about, people. And now we're going to chase the people out of the neighborhood, take their buildings away from them, take their property away from them, and then in the meantime, raise the taxes while they're there. The shortcomings already double our taxes. When is it going to stop? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 